Ever wondered why some people can eat all they want and not gain weight, while others seem to struggle with weight issues despite eating healthily? The answer might lie in insulin resistance. This is a condition where the body's cells become resistant to the effects of insulin, a hormone that regulates blood sugar. When this happens, glucose builds up in the blood, leading to weight gain, type 2 diabetes, and even cardiovascular diseases. So, how can we treat and possibly cure insulin resistance naturally? Let's delve into this. One of the most effective ways to combat insulin resistance is through your diet, specifically by adopting a low-carb diet. A low-carb diet is not just about weight loss, it's about improving your overall health and managing conditions such as insulin resistance. By reducing carbohydrate intake, the body is forced to use stored fat for energy. This shift can lower insulin levels, helping your body better manage glucose and insulin, key factors in insulin resistance. Moreover, a low-carb diet emphasizes the importance of consuming healthy fats and proteins. Think fatty meats, seafood foods that are both satisfying and beneficial for your health. But let's not forget about grains. While they are often seen as staples in many diets, those with insulin resistance may benefit from reducing their consumption, as they can lead to spikes in blood sugar. But remember, diet alone may not be enough. It should be combined with another significant lifestyle change, fasting. Fasting particularly intermittent fasting, has shown promising results in improving insulin sensitivity. Now, what is intermittent fasting? It's simple, really. It's an eating pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. This doesn't say anything about which foods to eat, but rather, when you should eat them. There are several different intermittent fasting methods, all of which split the day or week into eating and fasting periods. You might choose the 16-8 method, which involves fasting every day for 14 to 16 hours, and restricting your daily eating window to 8 to 10 hours. Or perhaps the eat-stop-eat method, where you fast for 24 hours once or twice a week. By reducing insulin levels in the blood, intermittent fasting can improve insulin sensitivity and help your body process glucose more efficiently. This is a significant stride towards managing insulin resistance. While diet and fasting form the cornerstone of managing insulin resistance, there's one more element to consider, the inclusion of specific healthy oils in your diet. Healthy oils, particularly tallow and butter, can play a crucial role in improving insulin sensitivity. These oils are rich in saturated fats, which help to reduce inflammation and improve cellular function. By strengthening cell membranes, these fats make cells more receptive to insulin, thereby enhancing insulin sensitivity. Incorporating these healthy oils into your meals can significantly aid in managing insulin resistance. Remember, the journey to reversing insulin resistance is a marathon, not a sprint. It requires consistent effort and lifestyle changes. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Remedy Seeker. Remember to take control of your health, and we'll see you in the next video.